Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today's workout is a 16 minute interval workout. So I have my interval timer set for rounds of 10 seconds of rest, 50 seconds max reps. Exercise number one is gonna be mountain climbers. So we're gonna get into our plank position and get started. Make sure our sound is turned up. And we have 10 seconds to prep, so get into that plank position, core stays tight. You're going to drive your knees toward your chest one at a time. So you want to get your knees nice and high. You can either tap them down or keep them lifted. You want to keep the hips low, so none of this. Keep it low, keep that core working to hold the plank. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Okay, next we have side lunge kick, right leg first. So we're gonna take a nice big step into a side lunge, butt reaches back, chest lifts, come back, balance, and kick. Straight back into it. So you wanna control your kick too. I slightly bend the standing leg. Keep moving. Last two seconds. Okay, same thing on the other side. Catch your breath in between. Lunge and kick. More than halfway done. Well, I heard that pop. Less than five seconds left. Okay, back to mountain climbers. Again, core stays tight throughout the whole movement. Halfway done. Push those knees. Okay, next we have Tricep extension squat. So I have my weight for this one. It's going to go overhead, squat, and drop the weight down. Knees try and stay behind your toes, chest stays lifted. As you come up, glutes squeeze, arms lift. Watch that you're controlling the movement. 
Don't let the weight pull you backwards. Less than 10 seconds left. Okay, next we have tuck jump. So for this one, we're gonna squat and then tap our knees as we jump up. So squat, tap. Same thing for your squats, chest stays lifted, get low, get those knees up. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, last round of mountain climbers. Then we're gonna switch up our cardio. Here we go. Okay, next we have temple tap abs. So we get to lay down for this one. Hands come together at your chest in prayer position. Core pulls in tight. We're gonna to reach top corner of the mat. Pausing in the center. Keeping the shoulder blades lifted and legs extended. And the higher you lift your legs, the easier it'll be. Less than 15 seconds left. Keep that core pulled tight. Okay, next we have plank walkout. So we're gonna start in a plank position. We're gonna walk our hands toward our feet and back. If you need to bend your knees, you can. If you don't need to, You'll get a really nice stretch in between, and then walk it back out. You could even walk it a little bit further than your plank if you're able to. Pause for a second in the stretch. Come back to that plank position and beyond if you're able to. Hold it at both ends. Okay, next we have high knees. Catch your breath a little bit. Run in place, get those knees high.
Lift those knees. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, next we have side plank, hip and leg lift, right. So you could do this on your forearm, elbow below your shoulder, or on an extended arm, and beneath your shoulder. And you're gonna drop the hip, lift, lift the leg. Get those hips nice and high in between. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, same thing on the other side. So laying on the left side now, or whatever side you weren't just on. Again, forearm or extended arm. Drop the hips, lift, leg lift. Less than 20 seconds left. Okay, high knees. So back to running in place. Core tight the whole time. So it's using this little sprint. Halfway done. Ten seconds left. Knee drop plank. So forearm plank, core tight. Hips low, straight line. Keep that core pulled in. Slowly lower the knees to the floor and lift. So you wanna control this movement. Keeping the core contracted is key getting a lot out of it. Halfway done. Ten seconds left. Keep those hips still. Okay, next we have Hip lift hook. So we're gonna lay on our backs. Last two exercises, guys. Arms extend or you can keep them by your sides. We're gonna lift. Pretend you can hook your legs over something extend. Up, hook, and extend. So you really wanna get the hips lifted. Even though you're hooking, press those toes toward the ceiling. Almost 
almost like there's a monkey bar you want to grab onto with your legs. Okay, last round of high knees. Here we go. Knees and arms moving. Get them high. repeat it and as always the breakdown will be on my blog benderfitness.com along with over 400 other free home workouts my 30-day challenge recipes tips for healthy living everything free and everything you can do at home to stay in shape so i hope to see you there benderfitness.com have a good night guys